when I hear people say, well, if you're against fracking, you're against jobs, I think, well, if you're for fracking, you're against children. I, I just want my kids to be able to breathe. And the thing is, I'm not going to go another day of my life not wondering what are the health effects that my children are going to feel now or in the future. What harm have we done long term because of the fracking? They've been so audacious, you know, as to frack right outside people's homes. I'd much rather be teaching kids music, but this is absolutely necessary that we step in and fight this battle. The fracking industry just doesn't have to be as accountable as everyone else. I feel like my front lawn is more regulated than fracking. We're just trying to defend our neighborhoods, protect our kids. We were there to push the envelope, but a lot of our debates were about how far to push it. You know, because if you push it too far, there's a chance you get consigned to the lunatic fringe. But if you don't push it far enough, it's like, why did we exist? Is that too radical? I don't want fracking in my backyard, but I don't want it in anybody's backyard. I am motivated to fight fracking because of climate change. So I think they're very afraid of what's going to happen if Denton, a city in North Texas, is able to set a precedent um, of banning fracking from their community. I think they're very scared of that. We said, we're not asking permission, we're going to ask the people. You know, we're the citizens of Denton, the movement against fracking is strong, and we're not going away. Do people on the ground have a right to determine their own quality of life, their own air quality, their own water quality? Do we have that right? That's what it's become a fight for.